Hey guys, hi. Welcome to the Coders Forest YouTube channel. I am your friend Pankaj, and in this video, we are going to learn the project folder structure of React JS. Guys, this is very very important topic because without understanding the folder structure, you cannot write the clean code for your project and the structure code for your project. So that it's important to understand the folder structure first. Okay. Now let's dive into the practical. But guys, before diving into the practical. Just subscribe this channel to get the latest notification of React tutorial, and like this video so that this video will reach more and more student. So, guys, this is the React project folder structure, okay? And this one is the main SRC folder, okay? It contains the asset, component, config, layout, middleware, pages, router, and services subfolder, okay? So we will see. One by one project folder structure. Okay, so guys, this one is the asset folder. As the name says, this folder consists of assets of our project. Okay, so it contains the images and style folder. Okay, here we can store our global styles. As we are centralizing the project, so that we can store the page-based and component-based styles over here. Okay, and this is the images folder. We can store our all project images here. Okay, now this is the SRC folder. Okay, now in this folder, you can see here is the asset folder. Okay, now let's go into the asset folder. You can see there are two subfolder: images and styles. Okay, styles contain the styles of each pages here. Okay. And images contain the images of the project. Component are the building blocks of our React project. This folder contain the UI like the models, loaders, search bar, cards, etc. Okay, this is search. This is card. Okay, uh, that can be used across the various files in the project. Now, let's just go into the SRC folder. Now you can see here is the component folder. Okay, you can see card and search bar here. Now the config folder. Okay, this folder contain the configuration file. Okay, here is the configuration file. We store environment variable in this config dot js file. Okay, so this is the configuration file and we store config dot js file here. Okay, that contain the environment variable. Now the layout folder. Okay, as the name suggests, we can store the header, footer, and main, and also the sidebar here. So this is the layout folder here in the SRC folder. Okay, it contains the header, footer, sidebar, all the layouts that we need in the project. Okay, now guys, this is the middleware. Okay. This middleware folder contain the middleware files that allow the side effects in the application, like validation and all. Generally, it is used when we are using Redux. We keep all custom middleware here in this folder. So this is the middleware folder in the SRC folder. Now the pages folder. Pages folder contain all the pages of our project. Okay. Such as home dot js about services portfolio contact dot js. Okay, you can also create subfolder for your project according to the project. Now you can see SRC folder contain the pages folder and pages folder contain the files like about page, contact page, home page, login page, portfolio page, services page, services page, and registration page. Right. Now the router folder. Okay. This folder consists all the routes of the application. It consists all type of routes like private, public, and protected routes. We can also create sub routes from here. So this is the folder route, and you can see here the private routes and protected routes files are here. Okay. So we can also create private routes and protected routes, and also the public routes and. Sub routes and access it 
Now guys, this is the services page. Okay, this folder we use when we need to use the Redux. It contains the folder like actions, reducers, constant and utils. Utils folder consists of some repeatedly used function like data formatting. So guys, this is the services folder within the SRC folder. Okay, so I am going to the services folder you can see here the actions constant and reduces folders are available here also the you can see utils folder is here this services folder we use when we need redux okay redux contain the actions constant and reducer so that's why we use services folder when we use redux now this is the app.js file app.js file has the root component of react application because every component and pages are handled with the hierarchy in react and this one is the index.js file this is the traditional and actual entry point for all react app here in react it has code of what to render and where to render so guys this was the react project folder structure okay i hope you understand so thank you guys for watching this video Please like, share and subscribe this video so that more and more students can watch it.